Hello, this is D, and I'm back with another video. Well, at an industry event over the weekend, Gran Turismo Sport was shown with 8K resolution running at 120 frames per second. Now, this was done at a show in Tokyo called the International Broadcast Equipment Exhibition. Now, this is a consumer electronics show, and the main focus is for professional equipment used in the video production industry. Now, of course, I will leave a link in the description down below so you guys can check the article out for yourself. Now, I'm just going to read a little bit of this article here now they go on to say that sony was there in full force and showed off their ultra high-end crystal led display system also known as cletus the massive 440 inch screen has a near 180 degree viewing angle and also displays 8k video at 120 frames per second Gran Turismo was obviously not the focus at this event, but Polyphony Digital has long been known for pushing the boundaries of display and imaging technology, and they snuck in some absolutely ridiculously looking Gran Turismo footage on the Cletus demo reel. Now, I think the problem here is that a lot of people were thinking that this was a display of the PlayStation 5. This was not. This was actually an exhibition of the Cletus display system. Now, for those of you that aren't familiar with Cletus, it's actually a tiled TV that you can scan up so each section of the TV is in tiles you put them together you can make a 40 50 60 all the way up to a 440 inch TV you probably could scale it a little bit higher than that as well as you would only need to add more tiles now these all have micro LEDs in it basically giving you a self emitting system similar to what you get on OLED now of course this is not going to be anything that the consumer is going to be seeing anytime soon because this will be extremely expensive Samsung does have something similar and they have dubbed this the wall. Now Samsung also does have a 8K television that actually hit the market a couple of months back. It is doing 8K resolution and it does do 120 frames per second. Now when I explain to you how the Samsung TV gets to its 8K resolution, you will have a better understanding of what's going on with this Cletus display. Now what Samsung does is takes a 4K image, it uses its artificial intelligence to map out what the image should look like at 8K and then it displays it on your system. Yes, the panel is a native 8K panel, but the problem is there is no 8K content that is currently available in the market. Now, I'm sure there's a few demo reels out there, but it's not something that is widespread. We're basically just getting into 4K resolution now with a lot of TVs becoming affordable to the masses. So don't expect 8K resolution to be a thing anytime soon. Now, how are they getting 120 frames per second they are using a frame interpolation mode where they can get up to 120 frames per second i'm not quite sure if the panel is capable of doing 120 frames per second natively but i do know that samsung does have this technology to interpolate these frames to give you motion that rivals 120 frames per second now i'm going to assume this is what this cletus display is doing nonetheless for those of you out there that think that the sony playstation 5 will be doing 8k 120 and 20 frames per second i got really bad news for you this is not happening anytime soon now just to give you guys some of the metrics of what you would need to do 8k 120 frames per second in computing graphics i'm going to give you an example of the rtx line of gpus now the rtx 2080 ti which is currently the most powerful gaming gpu you can get costs about 1200 dollars now if you use two of those and use them together in sli you would still not be anywhere near here 8K 120 frames per second and you're at $2,400 for just those GPUs. So now you can see how silly it is to believe that the PlayStation 5 will be doing 8K 120 frames per second. Once again, it's most likely a demonstration of this Cletus display showing how it upscales 4K resolution to 8K and how it can interpolate up to 120 frames per second. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. I know some of you out there will probably still believe that the PlayStation 5 will be capable of 8K and 120 frames per second. So I'd like to know your comments. And I know some of you out there that don't think this will be possible. So I'd like to know your comments too. And in general, I just want to know what you think about the PlayStation 5 and what type of hardware you think will be inside that system. Anyways, like I usually say, please like, share, and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.